All right, how's it going, guys? Last day of the Chicago Sports Spectacular, vlog number three. You can see the collector in the background here, getting all his autograph tickets and everything ready to go. He's so excited to see Rudy. I don't know why. Collector, who are you most excited to see today? Rudy. Rudy, there we go. And yeah, Dantley. We got Dantley and Rudy to see. Unfortunately, Emma Thomas canceled. Emma Thomas canceled, so we're not going to be getting him, but we got some other things in mind and other things to do, such as getting a Zach Wilson card graded. I'll give you guys a quick little overview of that right now, and let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think it was smart or not smart to get it graded? Not sure what we're going to do yet. I'm trying to make up our mind. We'll see you guys at the show. I like it. Looks good. All right. Took this time. It looked really, uh, came out pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. On to Adrian Danley. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. Can we get all of and rookie of the year? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Thank you. Black? Uh, yeah. You want blue? Black, yeah. You guys, you guys, yeah, yeah. No problem, man. Appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. Thanks so much. Hey, how you doing? But their center is way off. But I, I think that's pretty common in those. Are. It is, yeah. Yeah, still, it's a problem. All right, guys. So the collector and I are on our way back from the show now. It was a successful trip to the show. As you saw, I got my Zach Wilson card graded. And we picked up a box to open on the road. But we're going to be doing that after the Packer game. We are currently listening to it on the radio. So go, Pack, go. And we'll see you guys later. So we're stuck in a bit of traffic right now. So we thought there's no better time than to open our box. Yes, we got the exact same box as we did the last two nights. But hey, the first two were so good. We had to try it a third time. Third time lucky. I don't know. We've gotten pretty lucky the first two times. But let's find out how we do this time. Collector, our first card looks like an LSU player. Oh, Jamar yeah. Chase? It's not Jamar Chase. Racy M McMath. Hmm. Is there a penny sleeve in it? No. Okay, so they don't expect much from that one. So, it's a nice autograph. Next one. I don't know what 
college that is. I don't know who it is either. Malcolm Kunins. Here come the big ones now. Yep. Hall of Famers next. Take your time. Okay, okay. This is somebody I've heard of. Lineman. For the Saints. The line offensive lineman? Yep. Is this the Hall of Famer? Yep. Oh. Walter Jones? No. No, the Saints, Saints. Saints. I'm sorry. I thought you meant Seahawks. Saints. That's got to be uh, Willie Rolfe. Rolf? Yep, Willie Rolfe. All right. We've got his autograph on the full-size helmet as well. All right. And last but not yeah. least. Tamorian Terry. Ooh. So... I'll be yeah, honest, this was a bad. We hit the bankrupt on this one. <laughs> yeah, we went. We we pressed our luck a little too much there. <laughs> yeah, but we sure did. What are you gonna do? Two out of three is not bad though. No, better than our normal luck. So yeah, can't complain. Yeah, that's right. We bound to get a bad one. So that is that for this unboxing. No big hits this time, but still a great time at the show. And this one's actually in a penny sleeve. So who is it again? Tamorian Terry. Maybe I do am just. Him? Maybe I don't know football. What's cool? Looks like FSU. Okay. But Guessing he was a first to the third round pick of some sort. Not first round, so we would have recognized him. But. Well, let us know in the comments if we're stupid, if you guys know who Tamori Ontario is and we're just dumb. How's but the autograph look? It's not bad. You can read it, but it's just a T and then a T and then it looks like a Y. So, yeah, not too bad. That concludes the pack opening portion. I had to do it for you guys all three days. All right, guys, so we are back on the road through all the traffic. Unfortunately, the Packers game ended not how we wanted. They fall to Minnesota 34-31, to and being kind of a Packer transplant, if you will, and living in Minnesota, growing up in Minnesota, that's one of the worst days you can ask for. But we go again, still leading the division, so can't complain. Well, we'll see you guys at our next stop. Alright, so the collector and I made our first and hopefully only pit stop of the trip as we stopped at Quick Trip to get our Quick Trip chicken as we usually do because, well, as we said in the last vlog, it's the best chicken out there. We'll see you guys when we get home. The collector and I have officially made it home from the Chicago Sports Spectacular. Some things you might have missed while we were finishing up at the show and heading out is we did pick up a few purchases. First one being a Hit Parade box. You know how much we like our Hit Parade boxes. This is another college football first round edition, number 94 out of 100. I picked 94 because, well, that's my birth year. So hopefully some good luck will come from that. They were actually marked down about 10% off on the last day of the show. So figure out why not. Another thing we picked up was a Jordan Love. Gem Mint 10 Dunruss Rookie Card. And you know how I like my Jordan Love cards. Gem Mint only, baby. And this one's in a Packer uniform, so pretty excited by that. It was pretty reasonably priced. And as you can see, the placemat here from CSG Grading. We actually got our Zach Wilson card graded, as you saw earlier on the vlog. And, well, they were very personable, very nice, and... Yeah, I'd love to work with them again in the future. They were awesome, and they gave us this free placemat and some free cases as well over there. So that was pretty awesome. And yeah, that was in general the end of our trip to the Chicago Sports Spectacular. All right, so Collector, we finished up another successful trip to the Chicago Sports Spectacular. Any thoughts? That was fun. I mean, busy, tiring. I mean, <laughs> we talked about it. it's a lot of work to... To go through all that and to uh, get everything ready and prepared for the yeah. show and then to be at the show and it's quite a bit busier than the last show we were at so um you know just dealing with the crowds as well but yeah it was fun we got to meet a couple guys um dantley today and rudy of course so mm -hmm. picked up some more cards as well that we'll talk about i'm sure shortly absolutely um but yeah i think all around it was a good show and successful yeah, did you have one highlight in particular? Oh, probably meeting Woodson. I yeah, think Woodson was really cool. Definitely, yeah. yeah, that was awesome. Really enjoyed that. I'm glad I got to pick up a Jordan Love card as well to add to the collection, another gem mint. And this one's in a Packer uniform, and like I said, reasonably priced. Mm -hmm. yep. um, 
Well, that and I think getting the grading done too. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Steph Curry, James Harden. Yeah, Ricky we've Rubio been talking card. about that for a while. So yeah, so now we just have to wait six weeks to get it back. Yeah, which actually isn't that bad. It sounds like in the past people have been waiting a year for their cards to get back from yeah. grading. So so that one, and then as I mentioned, from I got my Zach Wilson one mm-hmm. uh, sent in to CSG. That's eighty five days. So hopefully, they actually had a grader there who was kind enough to look at it and say. Yeah, it's a pretty clean card. I'd, I'd definitely get it graded. So mm-hmm. that was yeah. really cool. Yeah, that was nice Kinda of them to do that. Peek behind the curtain, if you will. And as I said, CSG, they were just immense. They were very nice. They gave us the placemat. They gave us the cases. And they didn't have to do that. You know, they we made the purchase. We decided to get it graded. And they were very nice. And we actually ran into one of the guys at the hotel. And he was awesome. And yeah. it's very cool. Yeah. So, and they also had pins that... Uh, mm-hmm. We picked up a couple free Gem pins. Mint, baby, that's on that's brand. It. I think that's why that's why I went with it. Yeah. I was like, hey, that's on brand. I love it. So Yeah, we'll have to wear those. So CSG, thanks again. It was great to meet all of you guys there at the Chicago Sports Spectacular. We really enjoyed it, and we hope to see you again soon or maybe work with you in the future. Definitely, yeah. Any final thoughts, Collector? No, I don't think so. I think you'll be seeing a lot of these items coming up in the next few episodes of Memorabilia Monday, I'm sure. Absolutely. Speaking of Memorabilia Monday... It's not going to be out at its normal time this Monday, but it will be out on Monday. It's just going to be later. Unfortunately, I have to edit this, and then I have work in the morning, so I got to... We hit traffic on the way hit, home, hit a but it's a yeah. long drive home, so mm-hmm. we're going to beat. But the podcast will be back up and running on Tuesday as well, and we have a lot to talk about in the podcast. So we can't wait to see you guys there. And remember, we can see the statistics, and there were 40... 2% of you not subscribed that are watching our vlogs and well we hit 36 now so somebody subscribed and we really appreciate that we appreciate all the support and we actually ran into somebody at the show who said that they loved our videos so that's yeah, been great yeah, that you know that just yeah. helps us uh want to keep going so be sure to subscribe and like it really means a lot and until next time remember to keep it mint keep it gem mint just like the pin says keep it gem mint everybody and we'll see you later all right bye